Hello and welcome back to Let's Play EU4 Art of War as the Commonwealth. In the last episode we've just been uh, continuing our war against Muscovy. Uh, we're actually still in this other war with the Papal Reconquest of Modena, um, which has been going on for a long time. France getting pretty well sieged up over there, uh, the Papal State getting sieged by Venice. So maybe that will end soon, who knows. Uh, we also have some slightly dangerous rebel uprisings, which it would be nice if we could do something about, but we don't have the points to harsh treatment them right now. Uh, well, we do have points to treatment that one, but that's not the more dangerous one. Uh, we're already at full stability, we have... we don't have the largest possible armies parked on the relevant provinces, but we have some there. Uh, we may just have to let them rise and beat them, I guess. Um, we have Muscovy pretty well beaten at this point, I think, so uh, let's see, they're, they're down to 13,000 troops, 7,000 manpower, so uh, I think we can go a bit more on the offensive now. We've been fighting quite defensively on this one up to this point, so let's uh, go ahead and attack this army. We'll bring the rest, or, well, we'll bring this 12, we'll leave these down here because of the unrest, um, we'll bring this 12 up here and we'll start actually sieging the war goal now, which will immediately make things look a lot better for us. And the Papal State has pieced out Aachen, so that's good. If we can capture that army and wipe it out, that would be great. And there go the Mishar Patriots. Uh, we had armies parked right on top of it, so they get the terrain penalty. Uh, both of our armies are leaderless, though, and those... and theirs have... Uh, 0111 and a 112 general respectively. Well, let's just hope that our armies can win that. Uh, we are going to catch this army here and probably win that battle, but let's see what goes on here. Yeah, that's going fine. Yeah, that's looking bad for us. Let's, um... Let's retreat from those, we'll probably uh, consolidate and move our leader over there to actually take care of them, hopefully before they finish their siege. So more border friction with Austria, I guess we'll lose more diplomatic power. And France has been pieced out, giving up a province to Castile, okay. So we'll wait for this battle to be over here, which it is. Start sieging there. Austria has been pieced out, okay. Castile. we've converted another province. Yeah, I'll spend another few military points to avoid another simultaneous rebellion. And get my leader out of there, and we can use him over here.
Um, I think I'll actually just give up that siege and bring this army down here to help with the rebels. Royal marriage from Austria, sure. Yeah, I'm not sure why we've been getting all of these border friction events with Austria, because we don't actually border them. Neither does our vassal Transylvania. So that's kind of weird, I guess, but oh well. And we have the call for peace. Uh, the war isn't won, we're actually losing it. So, let's see. Um, I don't know if we can get cores back from them without occupying them. Um, I guess we'll check that out maybe, but all of these are cores of Novgorod, so we should be able to get um, some of them, I think. Yeah, we don't have to actually occupy them, but this costs us... Diplo power. Mm, okay. Well, we don't have to peace out immediately, but this is something we don't want to leave going on for too long. If we can get a few more provinces sieged, maybe that would be good. Is that a good idea? We actually have too many cavalry in that stack as well, so probably not. Let's not do that. So I guess we'll just attack over the river here. We actually have better maneuver, so we won't even take the river crossing. Uh, that's woods, which is a negative for the attacker, so that's fine. Uh, you are headed down here. Okay, you can do that. We certainly need to at least siege the war goal here, or else we won't be able to peace out for anything. And we'll let you reinforce for a month or two before you tackle the second rebel stack. Uh, can we peace out of this war now? A white peace? Sounds fine. Uh, we'll wait till February and then attack this army. Let's keep an eye on things up here. Here comes Transylvania to help out. Good. I'll... I'll consolidate these. Shouldn't really be a problem, though. Uh, we can actually tell our subjects to, let's see, set them to aggressive. 
Maybe they'll get a few more sieges done before we can before we have to peace out of this war. And uh, oh, one other thing I didn't mention yet is that when we formed the Commonwealth, um, we lost. Well, I guess we didn't lose, but uh, Lithuania still has cores on some of these lands that they lost to uh, Novgorod, but we can't, or not lost to Muscovy rather, but we can't actually do anything with those. They don't become Commonwealth cores or anything like that. So um, that is unfortunate, but not too big of a problem. We can still take this land at some point. Or we could give it to Novgorod, which would be just as good. And our call for peace went away. I wonder if that was actually associated with the other war, probably. That would make more sense. get lower national unrest for two years or so. That's very nice to have. Okay, we won that siege. Let's start moving up this way, I think. And that immediately gets us a nice increase in war score, since that was the war goal. Okay, so this uh, spy offense or defense event again, I think we'll just take the prestige, even though we're almost at the cap already. just see out of interest what Muscovy would piece out for right now. How many cores would they return to Novgorod basically? Um, not this many obviously. Yeah, I think we'll uh, try and gain a good bit more war score before we actually piece this one out, if possible. Well, he's got an army headed in here, which we should probably just keep an eye on. Where are you headed, little man? over here. No, we can actually increase the autonomy here. Let's do that. That should help things out a bit. And we'll harsh treatment them one more time. about that army that's wandering around there. Okay, so he is going to 
try to attack in there. My leader can teleport here. We can let him attack there, and I'll just go and reinforce. Could pursue that stack, but it's probably going very far away, so I may just uh, instead hang around here and start a few more sieges. Ooh, and he has 10 over here. Which we should definitely keep an eye on. So the Livonian Order has gotten involved in a battle here. Which we might want to help them with. Might be a bad idea. It seems to be going in our favor now, though. Okay. Not sure if that was worth it, but we won anyway. Obviously, the ticking war score is going in our favor now, which is nice. Uh, I guess we'll get you up here, get some more sieges started. I think this one was almost sieged already by uh, Transylvania or someone, but they gave it up to come reinforce that battle. Kind of unfortunate, but not a huge deal, I think. Sweden is fabricating a claim on us, alright. Wrong button. Alright, we won that siege. What's the Hansa doing over here? It seems like uh, Sweden has declared a war of their own, which is okay, we don't mind that. They'll distract uh, Novgorod, or rather Muscovy. Um, they want Neva, which is unfortunate for them because we're probably going to take it. As soon as we peace out, which mm, maybe fairly soon, let's go up to speed 4. I think we're pretty safe now. So, I guess we'll just do this one. Alright, we won that siege too. Uh, it looks like we're not gonna be able to siege up there, so Sweden might get those, uh, and then we'll have to go to war with them for 
uh, Novgorod's cores, but that's okay, we can do that. We also wanted to get this one for the Livonian Order too, so we can get two birds with, two birds with one stone there. So I think we'll just wait for a few more of these sieges uh, to finish, and then we can probably peace out, giving a good chunk of this land to Novgorod. Uh, we're out of time for this episode, though, so thanks for watching, and join me again next time when we'll hopefully finish this war.